Hello. So I'm trying a new audio setup. Let's see if it's clearer. And let's go to make another draft. Uh, sure. So last draft we did silver quill, uh, black white. Now let's see what do we get. So, flying haste, well, enters the battlefield, learn, nice. It's in your graveyard if you learn, whoa, okay, this is really strong. Uh, makes us really wanna go on red. And red can be either blue red, which is nice, or blue white. Um, learn. On blue red we have this one which is nice. This one looks decent. On white this is quite expensive. This is okayish. Well, we we'll pick the phoenix and phoenix and let's see what happens. <laughs> Harmonize. Well, in red we have 5 damage to target creature, excess damage is that to the controller. Well, it's a removal, it's nice. Or we have a defender whenever you cast an instant or sorcery. Well, this is pretty decent also. I think the removal is solid, it's a bit slow, but blue does not have other removals, and white has some, but not great. So if I want to go with red, I better pick the removal. In this set though, one can pick gold cards quite aggressively because you already know there are that many combinations. So we should not be too afraid of pick gold cards early on. Still, if you can stick to red, that's probably a better setup. A bit convoluted way, but it does learn. Well, this is a finisher, it's not a bad. Well, this is also only red and it's pretty nice too. First strike was quite relevant in my previous match. These combat tricks, this is almost a combat tricks, are okay. I, I'm not really excited about them though. Maybe this one with trample. I may get the first strike. First strike is pretty nice. Also, this is basically a red card, can be a red card. This is a very nice combat trick, since it's, it's also cantrips, so this is pretty strong. Okay, this is a very good form of card advantage, I like it. I've seen people playing this, it looks strong, but I don't really think I want to pick it so early. So, I think this is the strongest card, but this is very close.
Well, I want to double strike is strong only if I can buff it, so I don't know. I do have a spirit, and white red creates spirits, so this may be relevant. It doesn't look really strong though. It's a two drop. I mean, setting up, setting this card up for value, it's very difficult, so I would take it only because it's a second drop. Huh, nice, I keep token one, that's pretty nice. I should start picking up lessons. But make your mark was pretty it's a pretty solid card, so it's a pretty neat uh, combo trick. Fervent Mastery. <laughs> a crazy... Uh, it's a gamble. It's a crazy gamble. No thanks. It's a flyer. I get the flyer, I think. What's this actually doing? Yeah, doesn't really matter. 2 1 is nice. It's uh, similar to the, to the rogue, but 2 attack is quite nice, so I may like it. Deal 3 damage to each opponent. Uh, search your library for a dragon creature, put onto the battlefield and shuffle. If there are 4 or more... Nah. I may get the lesson. This lesson is pretty nice. It's also basically in red. This is playable. Playable, but not in color. I may take a uh, Scryland in color. Yeah. Another lesson. I think this is a little stronger since we have the Phoenix. So combat trick that learns makes sense to me. I probably like it more than the study break. Well, this is not card advantage, so I really don't like it. I'll get a curate. Let's see if we play blue, maybe also. these cards really don't matter so yeah wow we got lucky on the white red choice I mean I don't know what it does but it's legendary so whenever an opponent attacks you control because the target spell or ability you may draw a card well this is nice the planeswalker discard a card draw a card if you discard a creature, draw two. Return target creature from the graveyard to the battlefield, it gains haste. Nice. You get an emblem with whenever a creature enters the battlefield that you control. Well, this is really strong, so I'm pretty happy. In the pack, there's also. Well, this is nice. 
target creature can't block is uh, pretty relevant. Combat Professor, I have very good memories from my previous match. Fat Vigilance Mene is good work. Yeah. So in white we have a, a two drop. One drop. This one drop was decent. You exile a card. It's a two drop with upside with some form of recursion, so I like it. No. Um. You force a fight and you learn. So a two drop or you force a fight and learn. I think the two drop is better. This is really conditional. One four did he did its job more than once. Well another scry land on color is nice. Yeah, I think I get this cry land. I'm setting up as an aggro deck though, so none of this really aggro. Um, unblockable. Yeah, I'm not. It's not exciting, but I think I may get this. Fat Beast, it's always good in limited. Fat Beast uh, are always good in limited. Not as good as Combat Professor though. This one I also like to learn. I need to some learn ways to trigger my Phoenix, 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 whatever. Yeah, I get a Combat Professor here for sure. One of these is enough. First day in class, whenever I could, uh, mm, that pseudo combat trick. Well, I'll get it since there's nothing else. I'm not sure I'll play it though. This is for constructed, it's not really strongly limited. This is decent. Another removal. This is quite strong. Ah, uh, sacrifice, no, not so strong. I get the other removal. On color is nice, revitalize, not really. Double compact professor is also nice. Well, this is a solid, solid three drop. I cannot trigger it. I can trigger it with the Phonix and the Historian. So maybe I can trigger it. Yeah. Okay, this is somewhat exciting something. Wow, either, either, either this removal is very bad or people just don't play it. How many lessons do we have? I got... Uh, wow, I got only one lesson. So no. I need to pick up some more lessons, I guess. All right, it's the only relevant card for us. Oh, 
but this is slightly more relevant than the it's that mage to drop yeah okay fat beast Um, sure. Wow. 11 10 for 4 mana. Whenever the Titan attacks or blocks, sacrifice a creature. Well, someone at this table would be happy because I would not pick this. Ooh, Fractor is very strong. So this is helping me ramp. I'm not sure what I'm ramping into. Probably removal. But it's also exiting the graveyard, so I may trigger something with it. Let's see. Nothing for us, very nice. Mm. I may get the rare, yeah, sure. I like this one as a country. Or I may double down on the leave your graveyard theme. It's five mana, it's a bit end game. I also need lessons, but I don't see, don't see many. Well, on colors, at least. Yeah, I'll get to my hand. Nah, come on, let's draw. Now we got two of these, I already got this one. It would be nice to have some form of equipment. Apparently, that's not... Well, Mage Duel is strong. Well, I get the other flyer, I guess. I, I may be... Ah, I didn't get it first. No, I don't remember. Grape shot. <laughs> Wonderful. I'll play it. Yeah, I think Grape Shot is much stronger than this spell. 4 3 that we, it makes one damage here and there. No thanks. Yeah, Grape Shot, come on. Two, two, four, two. It's, it's you know, it's reasonable. We got a Ooh, this lesson is very strong. Too bad it's out of color. Should I take it anyway? Nah, I don't think I can run it. Yeah, let's pick the second drop. This is very strong, but I don't have a lot of lessons. I am just gambling I will find my lessons in the end which is a poor gamble. But, uh, yeah. Um, 
get more flyers I guess no lessons No lessons, all right. <laughs> Am I actually getting four of those, maybe? Well, actually these is rele are relevant, so uh, okay. Fancy village rights, let's go. Gargoyle. No, nah, not really strong. Okay, so first of all, how many lessons do I have? Can I see it here? Nope. So just the one, right? Yeah, just the one. So the learning Well learning can also be draw a card and discard a card. So I think that learning is still relevant since I have the Phoenix, the Phoenix, Phoenix. I need to cut three cards. Uh, the weakest cards. Well, this is really. just a 1-4 so that's probably weak how many creatures do I have? 18 creatures, I can cut another creature if I want to so in this deck the plus 1 plus 1 counter is not making a lot of sense because we don't have counter synergies so So my spells are two removals, one, two combat tricks, possibly three. So you may remove this one, plus one, plus one counter. It's not supported by this strategy. So I'm left with a good number of two drops. I like it, looks aggressive. So two combat tricks. One uh, <laughs> grape shot. Okay, let's play Legacy, right? I like it. Well, this is a combat trick. It's pretty good with um, first strike. Uh, this is a first strike dude, so uh, I like this. I do have a lot of flyers, right? Yeah. Actually, not a lot. There are only four flyers. No, five flyers. Well, it's okay. And uh, a four four. I if this was like a four five with uh, just one of the just either vigilance or menace, it would have been so much better. 
but what can you do? I'm really looking forward to set up a combat trick and then grape shot. That's gonna be great, so let's do it. So as usual I try my first match and then I see if I need to adjust the deck. So two lands, as usual, and I got three two drops, pretty aggressive, so I'll keep it. It's not the, it's not the strongest, I, I would prefer this to be a land, but hey, I'll do. Of course I don't draw lands, because why not? Pretty strong. Of course I don't draw lands, sure. Um, doesn't really matter. So if I lose these matches just for the poor mana draws. Yeah. Whoa, it is just combo. <laughs> okay. So from one side I want to draw one card more. Yeah, so let's see what it does. Because I, I really want to hit my land drop because otherwise I'm gonna lose. Yeah, but he doesn't. He doesn't fall for it, of course. Oh, come on. Um, send him in. This is like one of the lamest way to lose. So when you don't draw lands, it's just. I mean, it's not even a magic game, right? It's just. Uh, mm. So mage duel, I, I really hate when I cannot read the card, so sure. Target is uh, plus one plus two, so even if I buff it, it will not die. So Yay. 
a little bit too late. Okay. It's gonna kill me with a combo. Okay. Sure. Four. Why is it four? Plus two plus one, as long as you have twenty five more life. Go to six. So if I draw a land, I will play either the professor or this guy. I think the time for the defiant strike is well gone, so I may as well cycle it. So they are both a 3 in defense, so I prefer this one because it can trade one on one, slightly better. will die what are you counting come on oh the bad manner is really at you of ruin I'll get back to you don't worry yikes so I think we didn't see much in this in this game um, let me just double check we are running 17 lands and then I'll see you in the next matches. So we are 17 lands, sure, <laughs> of course, then I don't draw, but no, so 17 lands are fine. We may even want to run 16 with this many two drops, but as we have seen, it's not uh, it's not for us so we drew three two drops one one drop and then we drew all our four drops and uh, two of our five drops yeah I just think it was a very awkward and unlucky draw let's try another one or maybe just a bad deck let's see Okay, three lands, a two drop, some four drops, well I guess I have to keep it, three lands is fine. Huh. I played this in my first uh, deck. Yeah, too bad that I don't have a 3 drop. Well, let's see what it does. Okay. I may play the combat professor next turn. So, well, let's see what it, what it does. And the reason is that I should be an aggro deck. 
So the Cobot Professor helps me push damage earlier. For what? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. There's actually an argument to kill the unwilling ingredient. But I think it's a bad idea because it will have another creature anyway. So I may as well. Still a one for one, so I'm not uh, really upset about it. I mean, this is technically he will get uh, he will get a card back, um, but it's a lot of tempo. So let's see. Sure. Wow. So for sure I have to kill this one. I don't think I have a way to deal with this, so I'm already dead, basically. Wow, my opponents are really good. Really, really good. So damages are not really helping me, so yeah. Very strong. In the right deck this looks like a really really strong. There are black removers that can kill this. Maybe there's a white pacifism somewhere. Uh, red cannot kill this thing for sure. Blue can bounce it, but that's still not really efficient. Ah, uh, yeah, that's pretty strong. I don't think there's a lot of removal that can take care of this. Sure. I think I'm dead anyway, right? Yeah, well. Really disappointing. I do have a lot of creatures though, so if he if he misses a couple of creatures I may survive, let's see. Actually this is kind of awkward for him to block, because if he wants to block he has to sacrifice, but when he sacrifices then he cannot block it, so it's a little bit strange. Then of course he can just draw another creature, which is perfect. Oh uh, well, probably this one. Yeah, sure. 
yikes I didn't think this deck was so bad but uh, apparently it is well since we can go 0-3 I may keep on playing um, is there anything I want to change with the deck early drops they wouldn't have happened in this match Stati break <laughs> he could have helped it but it's just very random so I don't think so and we remove this one uh, and add early early drops doesn't look really solid though So this is really disappointing. So maybe I, I don't want this one. Um, I can try this one. It's really plain. Or maybe one of these. With one of these I could have played three spells and do a grape shot to kill the other creature so it's I think with grape shot cheaper spells are slightly more relevant so yeah let's go like this for the final round with zero wins and two losses ladies and gentlemen let's hear it for white red aggro Of course, I got a two lander. Okay. I'll put back the four drop probably. Although make your mark is not really relevant if I don't have creatures, so I may as well. Let go. I cannot cast my three drop. Nah, no, I'm in a bad mood and I'm gonna say hello to you. So you only have one lesson, which is this one. Maybe this was one of the time where I'm supposed to discard a card like the Phoenix. Yeah, probably I did an error here. I was supposed to discard the Phoenix. Mm -mm. Well, too late now. So land, spirit, what is this thing doing? If an untoken creature would die, exile instead. If you do, if you do create a So if he has two mana open when my creature dies, he can create a 1-1, one, one. sure. Sure. Okay, grape shot. Which doesn't really help me. Yeah, I really punted. This should be in my graveyard now, I didn't uh, really think about it. So if I lose this match, I will not complain on my main, I will complain on myself, so yeah. 
So grape shot for one is doesn't look great. So I'm not gonna do it. Doing nothing on your turn three is like really bad. But what can you do? Actually on your turn four. So it, this is the weakest turn four ever. So <laughs> he's punishing me, of course. Professor, what is this thing doing? No, I think the professor is better. So I can attack in the sky. I mean, he will gain three next turn, but at least put some damage in. So it's a two for one, so no thanks. Um, I may play Mia Grape Shot and kill these two things, but it doesn't look really good. I think I prefer to put down my four four and hope. Go. I would really love to make three spells so I can kill this one and this one because I don't really care about killing a token really. So he has a combat trick for sure. Um, what could it be? It's still a one for one, so use your combat trick. Go for it. Sure. Yikes. Luckily, I top deck the answer. So if I go 6 main I can discard the phonix and draw 2, which is reasonable. I get the trade. Sure, you can create your fungus, whatever it is. She didn't do it. Another croc. I think I have to play the Phoenix and use the Defiant Strike. Well, uh, if you cast it, learn. No, I don't think. I didn't even read. The, I didn't even know it, it would be. It would allow me to learn. Actually, I should kill this one because now the phonics get exiled. I didn't think about it. Yeah, that's that's so stupid. Yikes! Yeah, I'm not. I don't know the format, so I do stupid errors. Yeah, I think I'm losing this match because I don't know the cards and I'm not really thinking. Maybe I'm just. Uh, that's fucking madness. Okay. I'm just uh, tilting, I guess. Yeah, 
I think I have to do it like this. So if I double block he will he will kill the two three and then I'm dead by the four four but I don't think I have another choice. Such a poorly executed game from my side, just losing like a So I want to stop in my upkeep, so I guess I can't even, I can attack, <laughs> 40 damages are gonna have to, I will have to do them somehow, so, oh no, it has reach, oh come on, oh come on, yeah, so, yay, now you see how not to play a game, and probably also how not to draft a deck so that was pretty disappointing so the biggest errors I did didn't read this card I just didn't read it pretty silly of me I also forgot that learning you can discard a card and, and draw a card so the correct play would have been to play this, discard the phoenix, phoenix, and then get it back by playing a spell. So this would was the real line I should have played. And then I did a lot of other errors here and there, but I think this one was really, uh, really a stupid one. So yikes. I'll see you tomorrow.